Thanks. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, lots of uh, making news for the Lions in the last little bit. The return of Khalif Mitchell. Many were a little bit surprised by his return, and it was a little bit tenuous, shall we say, upon his departure from the team. And can just give our viewers an idea of, of how that went down and how things have changed now. Well, for me, um, there's just a lot of things that happened in the previous years with with Khalif that were, you know, um, you know, immature on, on his side, and, and my comment was a little bit immature as well. So, you know, the fact that he's back here, I, I think we've both grown as players and uh, individuals and, and pros, and you know, he, he's he's a force when he's when he's on his game, and and he's a he's, he's a guy that's gonna help us win football games, and at the end of the day, that's that's what we want right now. So, um, with the great cup here, you know, I heard the cups, no cups in Vancouver. We got a couple of cups here. So correct, sir. We got another one coming in. So stand corrected. I wore my. Lead colors today yeah. and I would just wear it on my sleeve. Yeah. So exciting to have a Grey Cup here uh, and to be able to celebrate it once again. Let's talk a little bit about how you're cha you've changed your number on your jersey. Tell the story. Uh, well, my number's been changed since, since junior, but uh, yeah. the jersey story kind of evolved with the Lions. They're doing a little promo campaign, um, just getting the, the, the fans in, involved in what uh, the meaning behind, behind our jersey. So um, I changed my jersey in 2008 after a, a close friend passed away. I used, I used to wear number 20 uh, my whole career. Um, you know, we both went through fatherhood at the same time. His, his daughter is uh, two weeks older than mine, and, and uh, he passed away nine months later after she was born. So, you know, it was really tough on me. But uh, you know, my friend Aaron, who passed away, the, the jersey uh, jersey number I wear, um, he played with so much passion and heart. And, and uh, you know, ever since I changed my jersey, I've kind of been a man possessed. And, and you know, there's just something more to play for, and it definitely raises the the level of uh, um, intensity and, and spirit that you play with. So he lives on. Yeah, for sure. Right there. Sure. You can see Jersey stories on the uh, BC Lions website. Yeah. Um, moving to the things that you do on, off the field, obviously what you bring to the table on the field, that's clear, but you're now designing a BC Lions hat for New Era. How did that come about? Uh, basically, they just, they just contacted me and said, uh, you know, we, we want to get you to design the hats this year. And, you know, it was a really exciting experience. You know, you get to sit at a desk and there's ton, tons of different samples. And, you know, you're, you're working with the designer, uh, you know, who basically puts up your ideas instantly. And, you know, you get your own little spin and, and flavor on, uh, and on the different kind of ideas you have. So it was a cool experience for sure. And, um, you know, it's just another, another thing that this year has been so crazy. You know, coming back to Vancouver, I wanted to get more involved in different things. And it's definitely uh, it's definitely taking flight I have difficulty picking what color nail polish I want so yeah. did you find that difficult or did you get right into it and be like that 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 yeah well like I have my own kind of style and then you yep. kind of you kind of want to bring in you know something that everyone else is gonna like and you you know you got to think about what, what people are gonna think about it and stuff too so you know there there's there's two sides to it I guess and you know I had a little bit of help with the designers as well the people that are you've been doing this for, for years and and know it sells so um, you know ho hopefully everyone likes it and, and it's and it's a and it's a hit you're so humble mm -hmm. So refreshing. Yeah. And um, I want to talk to you about your off season work because yeah. you've just started. Well, selling cars at Regency Nissan. Yeah, I was I was selling cars for uh, four months, and uh, it was great. Just wanted to learn the sales experience, get some get some solid sales, and and you know just just being out there and the, in, in doing something other than football. You know, I haven't held a job since I played junior, and you know just just to get back into that industry and, and get into the workforce again, um, it was a great experience. You know, football only lasts so long, and um, you know just shaking hands and, and meeting people and and getting more into the business world. Not other not just car sales, but different sales as well now too so um, yeah I just want to just want to take off in, in Vancouver there's so much so much opportunity out here um, you know and and we just want to get involved in uh, using the BC lines and and the little bit of name I've, I've uh, you know built up from now and and uh, just take off from that what a great role model yeah. you just spoke to a whole bunch of <laughs> professional sports hopefuls that you always got to look past what your career might be and be solid at what you're doing then Andrew Harris yeah. thank you so much for being here appreciate it